Hey guys, it's Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. How are you guys doing? I just want to make a little test, make sure that, yep, I'm in frame. And also make sure that I'm not in the frame. Anyway, I'm shooting at a different angle in my craft room today, so I think I'm really liking this. So you guys are probably going to see this a lot more often. Anyway, um, I just have to first say, there's a lady on my design team, on my fairy treasures design team, and... Her name is Violet, and her channel is 48 Scrappin, and I will definitely put her link below because she's awesome, like everyone on my design team is. And um, I just want you guys, and you guys can check out her her, her channel too. Um, she's the one who gave me this idea of this whole thing. I saw I saw she had a design team project. She's on another team also, and she did a design team project, and it was just fabulous. I thought it was just gorgeous, and I paint these women here. And she used a woman in hers um, also. And what gave me the idea was I paint these women. I'm going to show you. This is a woman that I paint. This is one of the women that I paint. Let me just make sure that's in frame. Yeah, and I'll hold it up a little bit. So I, um, I thought that that would be a great idea to use her face. Like how, how um, Violet did. She used the face and then she, you know, did all her her all her uh her little goodies all around it so that's what i wanted to do there so anyway that's violet gave me the idea and then i wanted to be able to do it with, with this painting that i painted a while ago so uh what we'll do is we we will go through it just let you guys look at it for a second so you get an overview i really love how it turned out very pretty and blingy and very fantasy looking it's shabby chic but very fantasy and that's what i wanted Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and focus in. So I'm going to move my, move a little bit, you guys. So bear with me. I'm going to go in a little bit. Here we go. Go in as much as I can. Okay, that's probably it right there. Okay, I'm in the corner over here of the of the um, canvas. Oh, and I guess I should call it an altered canvas because this is a piece of canvas board. Um, I should start out with first what I started out with. I first started out with, um, I'm trying to think of the paper line that I used, um, K & Company, which I love their papers. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. And um, so I used K & Company paper. Um, and then, and you can't see any of the paper, barely. Um, I'll show you places where you can see the paper, but you can't really see the paper at all. Then you can barely see, like, I have all types of laces below here and doilies. Like, you can see this right here on the outside. But I've covered those up, too. But as I go along, I'll kind of show you um, the places that, um, if you can see any of the doilies or the uh, K & Company paper. Um but I love I love doing the layering because even though you can't see it, it still adds to your adds to your um, collage. Because if I didn't, it would just be like wherever you saw things, it'd be plain. So I do like that. Anyway, let me go on. Um, explain what I did. Um, I made these flowers. I will try to leave a link of where I learned these flowers from. They are fabulous. They're peonies. Aren't these so cool? And these are made out of coffee filters. Um, oh, and I did make all the flowers on my project. Everything has been handmade, all my flowers. Okay, and this one, um, after you cut this flower out, there's a, like a piece left, a real long strip left. That's how I made these roses. Let me make sure those roses are all in frame. Yeah, they are. That's how I made these roses. Aren't they gorgeous? So I did those and I stickled everything. Um, again, another handmade rose. A lot of you guys know this, um, that um, technique, it's real easy. I'll try to leave that too. And then you guys look at these little baby roses. Aren't those so cute? I love these. Um, and there's another one up here. And I'll leave her link too. Who taught me how to make those. I am obsessed with these. These are fun just to sit around for a couple hours and just make these little, these little miniature roses. There's another one tucked. And you can tuck them all in your project everywhere. Aren't they adorable? And they're made with uh, rose petals. And then little pieces of um, lace. Okay, uh, next. These these are cool. Let me see that's in frame. Yeah, this rose here is so cool. This is made out of milk cartons. That was another rose I learned how to make, which I'll leave that link below. 
and let me make sure everything's in frame okay and then this behind here i think is so cute behind this feather this is a seashell when i go to california i always collect seashells and i always like the idea of like in the little mermaid under the sea she always has like pearls there's always pearls and shells i always remember that from that movie so i put a bunch of pearls i hot glued a bunch of pearls in the shell which i think turned out really pretty um okay so from there let me go let me go down a little bit more oh i know one thing i didn't explain right here see that right there these are some um, butterflies i make out of polymer clay i hand make these and i hand paint them so i'll have to maybe do a tutorial on how to do those butterflies okay but let me zoom in on that butterfly so you can kind of see the light's really glaring on it i'll, I'll show you guys another one further in the project because i have a lot of them throughout the whole project maybe the light won't be glaring on it so much Okay, let's see if I need to come out a little bit or what. I want to come down so you guys can see the bottom of the project. Okay, here we go at the bottom. And let's see if we can go in a little tighter. Okay, that looks good. All right. Next, again, one of the, um, I put feathers here. Just I just thought that'd be kind of a neat addition. Um, this is one of those peonies again that I made out of the coffee filters. Um, again, a rose they made out of the um, egg cartons, and then um, roses left over, left over coffee. I just say coffee filter. I'll explain that when I do my tutorial how I did that. But anyway, another coffee filter rose, and some more of the handmade little rosettes here. Um, more of those little handmade rosettes here. I just love these, you guys. I made tons of them. More rosettes here, and behind here I have a um, a, a little uh, cameo. Isn't that pretty? I've been hoarding that, and I finally used it. Um, down here, I want to make sure it's in frame. Yeah, down here I made this little um, rose, and it's a um, it's just a lot of people are doing this technique where you cut out the shape of a butterfly and then use that little rose the little rose trim to decorate the um like make first cut it out of cardstock and then use the rose trim to fill it in and then i put a feather down there and then um uh pearl string um as like the antennas okay um let me see what else is in frame here okay well i'll just go to the middle part now all right let's go up to where the love sign is at and I'm gonna go over you guys so bear with me okay let's see if I can get more of that in there perfect okay we'll start up at the top and right here you can see like how I use some of that K and Company paper coming through can't really see the design, but you can see the paper coming through. And then this is some um, some hand knitted or uh, hand crocheted lace that I have. Um, I also sell a lot of um, crocheted laces and doilies now in my shop, so you guys will have to check those out. Oh, one other thing, as I'm going to get to it, I want to show you some of the um, metal pieces from my Etsy shop um, that I use in this project. Okay, so that's one of them there, and I'll kind of bring these up when I'm going to use them when I've used them in the project. Okay. And that is this. See how I took this and I blinged out this butterfly. Isn't that fabulous, you guys? So you can get these in my Etsy shop and then use your bling and bling them out. You can use them as brooches. You can use them in your projects, whatever. I think that turned out gorgeous. Love. Here's another one, another piece I used. And then another piece I used. Okay. All right, and I'll show you those as I go along in the project. Oh, well, I guess, let me see if it's in frame. Yeah, it is. See this brooch? I made this brooch right here. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Okay, and again, I used this. So that was this. Okay. All right. So let's go through it. Um, this is a love sign I got at Joann's. I always pick up quite a few of these when I go there. If they're on sale, especially, I always have three or four on hand. I um, used the Martha Stewart um, that I get at Home Depot, the Martha Stewart Crackle. It's a real thick crackle. You guys, I love this crackle. Plus, you're getting pay five bucks and you have a big, huge jar like this big. It's awesome. Then I um, painted it pink. Then I stickled it. 
and then I went ahead and made this butterfly, which I told you out of my um out of my filigree pieces, which I think just turned out so pretty and so antique and gorgeous. Okay, and when you guys find crystals like this, whether you use acrylic or you use glass crystals, um, get the AV, the Aurora Borealis. That's how you're going to get a lot of bling off of there. Okay, then I made, again, I made my um, shabby chic flowers, roses. I made the bling in the middle out of pearls. Ginny644 has a great tutorial on how to do those. Um, I told you. Oh, and this here, how I made this is... Okay, this is wild. I'm going to do a tutorial on this. You can take your enamel powders, your your enameling powders, put them straight on this um, without this, without putting any of the adhesive on there. Then from the underneath side, take your, um, and then take off the excess. Underneath, well, first you heat it up with your heat gun underneath on the metal. Then put your embossing powder on there. Then underneath again, because if you put, your, put it on top, you'll blow the powder up. But underneath, go like this. And all the embossing powder will melt on here. Isn't that a cool idea, you guys? Okay, I did that on here with silver, which you really can't see, but you can see that this, there's a silver background. And then um, then I blinged it all out. This is kind of acrylic cheap bling, bling, and this is the glass crystals. So you can mix your high and low together and get great effects. So you don't always have to go with expensive stuff to make really pretty things. Okay, um, let me see what else is in there. Oh, okay. I can just keep going. Yay! Because I'm still in frame. Uh, these are more of the handmade roses. Jenny644. Um, I got this technique from her. Aren't they gorgeous, you guys? And then these little centers that I made in there. Then you really can't see. Oh, there's another little. See so you can see. A little, little handmade butterflies that I made. Okay. Let me see if I can't find one. I have a couple of them. Because you guys, I cover everything up so much. But I just want to show you. These are the butterflies that I make out of clay. I love them. I think they're very fantasy looking. I just love them. Aren't those, aren't those pretty? I'm definitely going to do a tutorial, I think, on these. Okay, the other thing is I have another, um, I have another uh, cameo here that I aged out with, um, uh, what I use. I use gesso, and then on top of that, I use some Robin Buff, um, some more coffee, coffee, fil uh, coffee filter roses. And um, how you paint these, how you color these, believe it or not, is you use uh, water, the color, like acrylic paint, acrylic paint, water, and a little bit of glue. And what that does is it stiffens everything back up, okay, so that your bar doesn't fall apart when they get wet. Okay, so I made a bunch more of those. Oh my gosh, that one is coming up. I got to glue that back in. Okay, and then um, let me see what else is in frame over there. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go down to where the face is. Yay! Okay, right there around the center, I can explain everything. Okay. Oh my gosh, my hair just got caught on my camera. Sorry about that, guys. That was crazy. Okay. This is a um, a woman that I paint these these women. I love I love women and I love um, making them beautiful and having lots of flowing hair and so originally this was the painting I did. Originally that was the painting I did and I wanted to put it in this um, collage. So I put her here in the center and then I have um, my handmade roses again around. And my handmade centers and I want to show you the base of this handmade center is this so I took this these are cheap you guys you get them in the floor department those little glassy pearl things you get for like two or three dollars for a big bag I put it in the center here and then I took the pearl pearl string and just put it around real easy ones to make very simple and easy fast and I think it looks very vintagey so I really like that how that turned out again some more um, uh, a carton ro uh, roses um, and then I need to go down a little bit. This, I love the little scene I have down below here. Okay, let me just go over a little bit more. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we need to go down a little more. Okay, there we go. All right. So down from the coffee filter roses, 
Okay, you guys, I love this. I use the Tim Holtz dress forms and I cut them out of the glittery paper. So let me just kind of lift it up so you can see. See, there's a Tim Holtz dress form. Okay, down below. And I did it out of the glittery paper. Um, I did one kind of a pink and one of a fuchsia type of pink. And then this was, um, I had a silk um, little negligee robe thing, which I don't wear anymore. So I used that fabric, which I think is real pretty and made it, and it's real flowy and used it for their um, skirts. And I just uh, like did a running stitch, just did a running stitch and then gathered it and then measured it the length of this. And that's it, real easy, easy. And then I used the, um, oh, what is this stuff called? Oh, uh, the bling mesh um, for a belt. I used the bling mesh down here for the trim, some pretty lace, again, for the belt, bling it up down here. Now, I think this is fabulous. Let me make sure they're in frame. Okay, you guys look at these brooches. On the, in the middle of their dresses. Aren't those fabulous? I am so excited how those turned out. Kind of the same as I did up here at the top, but see, I turned that into that. So you guys get your bling out, buy some bling, whatever, and start blinging up these metal pieces, whether they're my metal pieces or pieces you have at your home. Okay, they're really fun. Um, you know, I'm gonna show you guys something because this is gonna make it a lot easier for you. Because before I found out about this, I was not interested. I love bling, but I wasn't interested in doing it myself because it's so hard to get these little pieces, the little stones. Okay, you're going to get a thing called Dentec Terrapin Max. It's kind of like a little wax. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm in, okay, down here in frame. It's like a little wax, okay? And you get it like in the section where they sell toothpaste and all that. And I think it uh, repairs like if you have a tooth that came out. You use that wax to put the tooth back in your mouth. Then you, you dip a toothpick into this and it leaves a little bit of a, like a waxiness on there. And you can just go ahead and pick up, pick up your stones, place them right where you need them with a toothpick. And then have a toothpick where you have um, nothing on this one. So that when you put it down, let me move all this stuff out of it. When you put the stone down, you can just make sure it's down like that. And this goes, it goes so quick. So you just need two toothpicks and this dental wax it doesn't say wax it's called dentec terrapin max but it's just like a little dental wax all right just want to show you guys that because that's going to make it easier for you guys to do these and i'm going to do some tutorials on how i do some how i did these um okay this is a little white picket fence that i made behind here with some really skinny popsicle sticks i got at michael's you can barely see that it's a fence anymore it almost looks like maybe a window but it is a fence because i've covered it so much um, I use some book pages back here and then the can company papers. This I love. This is a um, chandelier. We took a trip to San Luis Obispo, California. And um, I picked up at their, my, of course, I visited the local Michaels. And I picked up these chandelier made out of wood. Aren't they fabulous? Painted it gold with the Martha Stewart um, metallic paint. You guys need to get that. It is fabulous. She sells big tubs like this big. And you get it for five bucks. So you are getting you are getting a really good, really big bang for your buck there. Okay, then I took, and these weren't even the expensive ones. These are the resin um, clears, and I put them everywhere. And what I do to make them look like more expensive, like I use like a lot more expensive crystals than I did, is you know, like when we make our um I'm trying to explain when we make our um our pens. No, let me just show you because it'd be a lot easier for me to show you than keep trying to explain. Here we go. It'd be a lot easier to show you than to keep explaining this. Okay. Make sure I'm in frame with these. Bead caps. That's the word I couldn't think of. Okay, so let me make sure you guys can see those. Okay, see the bead caps right there? Okay. You're going to kind of stretch the bead caps out with some pliers, just a little bit, just open them up a little bit further. And then I set these in the bead, I set the stones in bead caps. And I did the same thing, the same thing with these pearls, these flat back pearls. I set them in the bead caps Then I kind of opened up a little bit. And so it looks like you're setting stones. So it adds a little bit of like, like how does she set those stones like that? But they're not set, they're in bead caps that are kind of opened out a little bit. Okay. And in between that, I put little smaller bling and I think it turned out really really pretty okay again I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I do some of that stuff here 
very soon. Okay, this is the last part. In the corner, I went purple crazy. I had a little purple moment over there. Oh, I want to zoom in a little bit. Maybe I need to zoom out a little. Sorry, guys. Okay, that's good. All right. Again, I go over here to my purple moment. Don't you guys just love glue strings? They drive you out of your mind. And you think you got them all until you start going into your project deeper and then you start seeing the darn glue strings. Okay. All right, I guess I'm pulling glue, glue strings. <laughs> I just finished this project yesterday. Um, again, those coffee filter peonies here, uh, the purple coffee filter flowers. Um, again, I made out of the uh, petals, rose petals, the big bag of rose petals. I made some more uh, little rosettes, another rosette there. Um, this is one of those butterflies. You can see just the end of it. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Oh, I do want to explain one thing too at the bottom. I, cause you can actually see it if I lift this up. I think this is really pretty. I kind of covered it up a lot, but this is up uh, some really pretty lace that I love. You know what? Let me make sure if I'm in frame with this. Okay. Yeah. I'm in frame over here. Sorry. Let me lift it up here. Okay. There's some really pretty lace underneath. See the little scallopy edges? I love this lace. I get it at Hobby Lobby. It's gorgeous. They always have it. I think I get it for $2 or $2.50 on a roll when it's on sale. Otherwise, it's $5 a roll. So I usually wait till it goes on sale. Then on top of that, um, in my um, shop, I don't think I have any more, so I shouldn't even say this, but in my stash, um, I got this pom-pom trim, which I think is Fabulous, and I laid that over it. See, oh, and here's a doily, a doily from um, that's underneath some of the more papers that are underneath. Okay, more glue strings that I would love to pull out. Okay, and one other thing I want to point out, make sure it's in frame. Again, another one of these seashells that I collected in California when I went there to sell it was a best book. Um, I filled it with what did I fill this one with? Oh, these are with those little uh, purple glass. Um, little balls or glass balls or beads that you get in the floral department and then um some real pretty aurora ballast beads intermixed in there okay you guys so that is that is my um that is my collage or my altered canvas i'm really really happy at how this turned out i'm gonna give you guys just an all over view again really happy how this turned out i it, it, not everything turns out exactly how you want, but this turned out how I wanted it and more. When I got it all together, I was like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. So this will be hung up in my in my um, studio here or my craft room because it matches everything perfectly. And I think that's it, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much. Hi to my design team. You guys are awesome. I can't wait to see what you guys make here in the month of May. I know you guys just all just got your uh, design team kits. So I'm totally excited to see what you guys are going to make. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a crafty day. Bye-bye.